bet you any money that Charles is this nigga's father, bro. Sacrifice. Don't you talk to me about sacrifice, Charles. I had to send my son back to the island, knowing full well that... my son too, Eloise. Let's cut his dick off. That's what I would have done. Shit, if you I was Norman... <laughs> Are you ready? What is going on, guys? Are you guys ready for the finale of The Last of Us? I know I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go. And... You know, the thing about The Last of Us, right? This is the final episode of season one. And I hear a lot of people saying that this episode is a short one. How are they going to wrap this up in this short amount of time? Because it's not as long as like the first episode or like the second or the third. It's not like a one hour episode. Um, I heard it's like a 45 minute runtime. So people are wondering and you know what before i started to worry i realized that this is craig mason and neil Druckmann. i realized that these guys have been killing it the entire season so why am i now going to doubt them for the final episode of the season and how they're going to wrap this up who knows we might not get the ending that we get in the game but they did say that the first season covers the entirety of the the first game so i don't know what to expect here i'm just gonna have faith in these people who have been doing an excellent job so far of this incredible show that they've created from this video game so without no further ado let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review i'm excited let's go It's Ashley. I think Ashley is supposed to play her mom, right? Well, damn. Wait a second. Did she give birth? Did she give birth to Ellie like <laughs> by herself? Yo! She just fell out? Birth I've ever seen, bruh. She got infected. Maybe this is why Ellie is immune. Maybe. Who found them? Because it's, it seemed like her mom got infected here. Is that a real baby or is that a robot? Because I know they out here, they doing robot stuff now that... That look like a real baby, dude. That is not CG. And she was under so much stress there, the baby just came out. <laughs> Damn. The funny thing is that Bella Ramsey actually looks a little bit like Ashley Johnson. Like, there's a certain resemblance around him, around that the head it's like it could be believable that is that she could be ashley's daughter <laughs> oh so this is our marlene found ellie okay oh god 
It's not your fault. We were delayed getting out of the zone. I know. She's hungry. I cut it before I was bit. Before. Take her with you to Boston. Find someone to bring her up and make she sure she's She actually cut safe. it after she was bit, though. I don't want you to give her this. How long have we known each other? Our whole lives. So you pick her up yeah. right now. So she is and like a like a auntie. Might be. As I said, I don't remember. I can't kill you. Please, no, please, please, please. Damn, you just gonna no. leave her like that? Hold her head. There you go. Take this. Damn, bro. Cover her ears. What was she doing out here by herself? You hear me? No. What? Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, she has not recovered from that close. experience. Mm -hmm. Hospital that way may be the one we're looking for. Joel is trying to cheer her up, but. Take this for me. Stuff like that, when you go through experiences like that, one, it. Two. Oh. Oh. You know, continuously uh, replays in your head. Yeah. So it's hard to... You are aware of what's going on around you, but you're also not aware of what's going on around you. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak, emergency medical camps. They had me in one just like this. With Sarah? No, she was gone already. Oh. So what was wrong with you? Just for this. Uh, the guy who shot and missed. Well, I gotta hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. I couldn't have been more ready. It went went to pull the trigger, I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this is... I know is... why you're telling me all this. Yeah, I reckon you do. So time heals all wounds, I guess? It wasn't time that did it. That's powerful right there. I'm glad that that didn't work out. I realizing how much they they actually mean to each other. Going. Yeah. That was a <laughs> emotional scene to get through. I can imagine. <laughs> That's a horrible part. You're not green enough. Does a three out of ten. Oh, yo. Five out of ten. It's got flashed. Help me! You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. We all owe you. Just take me to her. She's being prepped for surgery. What surgery? He thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It produces a kind of chemical messenger. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. A cure. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. Yeah. It does. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now. Oh! Oh! 
Please, you don't understand. I do. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. So I do understand. I have no other choice. I do. <laughs> really? He tries anything. Shoot him. After you literally just told the man that you owe him. Gonna happen. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. As well. I said keep walking. Where is she? <laughs> fuck you. Okay. No time for this. Damn, I don't have time for this. Let's go get Ellie, man. <laughs> It's a moral dilemma that you're under right now because it's like, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Is it really worth it for one person to die to save a bunch of people, right? And the situation is, I'm pretty sure that 90% of people would say yes, but you're gonna have <laughs> you're gonna have the anomalies that stand out and say, hell no, if that's my kid, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just gonna live in an apocalypse. Or is it the Last of Us theme? What am I saying? <laughs> this is the Last of Us. I keep getting it. Sometimes I do get them mixed up because they sound a little bit similar. Mm. This scene is like exactly the same, bro. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. Damn. Damn. Unhook her. Decisions, decisions, man. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's gonna grow up, Joel. And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. Because I think she'd want to do what's right. And you know I don't it. know. We can still find a way. Couldn't protect her one time. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't protect your daughter? Like, there's no way he's gonna let go of this. Nah. Take it slow. The drugs are still wearing off. I was with the fireflies and then it. What drugs? Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. And the doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually stopped. Yeah. They've stopped looking for a cure. Are people hurt? Yes. Yeah, she was still alive. <laughs> go ahead. Let me go. You've just come after her. Cold blooded, bro. Back to Wyoming. Well, I, I... not much further now. Hey, wait. In Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. My best friend was there. And she got bit, too. We didn't know what to do, and she says, we can just wait it out. Be all poetic and just lose our minds together. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. 
And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not I what you want. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Uh, I mean, I wish I could just play that for my review. <laughs> I wish I could just play that for my review for episode nine and just for the, the, the series in general, because, you know, I'm going to leave certain things as a, you know, for, for, for my thought process, I'm going to leave certain things out of this review. It's not anything pertinent. It's just things that I would normally say and talk and talk about when it comes on to, you know, how other people might feel about this. So I'm not going to talk about those other people that, you know, might say certain things. I am going to address the episode itself and the series season one right that's what i'm going to address here tonight the last of us has been throughout this nine these nine episodes has been an emotional roller coaster it, it got me once <laughs> with the tears you know what i'm saying it got me once a couple of times you know it was getting there you know what i'm saying and in episode nine, even though I know a lot of people is going to say the episode is too short. I talked about it in my intro, right? I said, I'm going to trust the writers and I trusted them. And here we are. I'm not going to go as far to say this was a perfect episode because it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not a perfect episode, but they got to the point you get what i'm saying like they they got to the point they didn't oh we're going to do this this and this and this no they just got to the point they got to the hospital they let joel rescue ellie if you want to put it as a rescue right and that's what happened and guess what we just gotta be okay with it we just got to be okay with it. As I said, it's not a perfect episode. I would give this episode an 8 out of 10. I think it's probably the weakest episode of the series. But I still understood it. Because I know how the video game ends. Right? I know how the video game ends. I know what happens. Right? And it was damn near shot for shot. If I'm remembering correctly of what I saw in the game. It's damn near shot for cut, shot as closely as they could, as they said in the ending there. They did an excellent job of recreating everything, the hospital room, everything. Everything played out nicely. As I said, I don't remember if the whole Anna Marlene relationship was explored in the game. As I said, I haven't played the game in years. I played it once, but I remember a lot of the story beats that happen. I know the beginning, I know the end. I know some of the, I remember some of the middle, a lot of that stuff as well. As they were playing out on screen, I know they have the whole cannibal situation and all of that. So it was a great experience nonetheless. As I said, in my mind, in my opinion, this is the weakest episode of the series. Some people might disagree. I think that newer people to the series might think this was perfect. Um, in my opinion, I think they could have done a better job of exploring certain things. I think if they added like a, like another like five to ten minutes to this episode, we could have gotten a lot more understanding of what was taking place and the emotional roller coaster. But they decided to do something a bit more shorter, like a regular TV 
episode and just give you what you what you needed to know to siphon off into season two and they did an excellent job of that right um and this is not to say that i did not enjoy the episode i did i did enjoy the episode as it is, doesn't lower my jewel my enjoyment <laughs> of the episode it's just i'm just being objective about what this episode could have really been and i can see a lot of people that are like you know the video game people that has been blasting and saying this is you know this and that and whatever about the series i could see them saying see <laughs> you know but when it comes on to this series man i've always been consistent in what i've said about this series is that it's it's great the acting is great and everything has been very consistent throughout the series um marlene coming back and you know a lot of times when you might think something is mid or is or you know it's eyed right and then the reason why because i was sitting at probably like a six or a seven out of ten for this episode and how it was executed um until i saw at the end what mason and Drutman was saying about why they decide what to do what they did um and why they decided to you know show what happened at the beginning versus what they showed at the end the, the reason why joel made the choice and all this other stuff just explaining certain things you know and it's true what he's saying that you know the ending to this game has been discussed for the last decade and it's very true game came out in 2013 right and people has been discussing the ending for The Last of Us 1 forever. And that's what TV shows usually do, do to you when, it, when they're very good. You know, take, for instance, the ending of The Sopranos, right? The end of The Sopranos, right? Till this day, I just reacted to it. I just reacted to The, la to, to the Sopranos last year. And people were still discussing... <laughs> what did i think of the ending and and you know what i'm saying there's still new videos about the ending of sopranos coming out on youtube to this day because it's so controversial of what happened right but in this situation it's like why did joel make the choice that he made and everything that led up to that you can't just look at the last episode and this episode to say that well this and that you know, maybe you shouldn't have. You got to look at the entirety of the show and see where Joel is coming from, from him losing Sarah to him gaining Ellie now that he takes as a daughter. And you trust me in many of those situations, a lot of us would probably say if you're not a parent. Right. If you're not a parent, you're probably going to say you know for the for the greater good but you got to understand man pain is something you you don't want to relive especially emotional pain mental just crazy stuff that happens to you like you you, you understand what i'm saying like if you lose a child you don't want to lose another one you don't you don't care everybody else could die i'm telling you this because i've had plenty of people and then when i say plenty i'm not exaggerating i know a lot of people adults that have lost children i'm talking about dead whether it's through um you know from 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 you know from sickness to getting shot on the street or getting stabbed i've seen it happen you ask that parent if they would want to lose another child or save the world and i promise you they will tell you fuck the world and everybody in it i'm not losing another child so you gotta understand where joel is coming from and also you also gotta understand that marlene was coming from a good place as well as saying that 
this sacrifice could save the world, right? It could cure everybody. She's the cure. She's the only cure, right? And, you know, she presented the question to Joel as like, do you think she would make the same choice that you're choosing now? Because he's like, oh, it's not your choice to make. And it's not Joel's choice to make either. It's her choice to make. What would she choose? The fact of the matter is, Marlene, is that you didn't give Ellie a choice. You just drugged her and put her on a table. You didn't tell her what was going on and what was necessary. You should have make let her make that choice if you cared about her that much and saying, oh, I understand. And that's why I said in that scene, I really don't think you do understand because you are making the choice for Ellie by not telling her what she's she has to sacrifice for everybody else. I think if if I'm the cure for everything else, give me that choice. Don't just put me on a table and then cut my brains out of my head to 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 cure everybody without me knowing. Let me make the choice to save everybody else and die peacefully. But die dying not knowing why you died is is I mean it's not like you go know anyways but at the end of the day it's like the people that love me are not going to understand you you get what i'm saying like if if you tell me and then i go tell my moms my significant other everybody is i'm making this choice to save everybody else they probably won't want me to do it but at the end of the day it's going to be my choice and then it's going to be up to them to understand my choice and move forward. But when you take that away, just like how Joel took the choice away, you're doing the same thing. You ain't no better than Joel, Marley, right? So to understand also that Ellie not knowing the truth is another thing as well, because she's, she's scared to know what Joel had to do to get her out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because like, oh, the place was raided by raiders. How? You know what I'm saying? The, the excuse was so, you know, whatever. It's just like, I had to fight like hell to get you out of there. Dude, you had to carry me. What do you mean? Like, I would have a whole bunch of questions. How do you get out of there carrying me to a van and all this other stuff? If everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of questions I would be asking there, but Ellie's so, she's like, you know what? I just don't want, I don't want to know the truth because it's like, as they said at the end in there, it's like, you know, the whole purpose for your whole life, you don't even get to fulfill that purpose. It's kind of, it, it's, you know, and Joel is trying to protect her because, you know, parents lie to their kids all the time to protect them. That's natural. I'm not saying they should, but, but it happens all the time to protect them from knowing the truth about certain things that they're not ready to handle emotionally. Right. And these things happen. These things happen. So yeah, man, this was great. It was a great episode one through nine. Um, you know, now I can say that maybe they should have they should have had an extra episode but i'm satisfied <laughs> like 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 what um um what's his name um i can't remember it bill and frank like what bill said i'm satisfied <laughs> right i'm good with what they did man this was an incredible ride i loved it hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this with me as well man I'm going to give the entire season of The Last of Us a 9 out of 10. They did an excellent job. Um, you know, not a lot of faults. I loved every episode of this series. Um, I loved every episode. But I uh, that me saying that this episode was not as strong as the others doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. Okay? Just saying that. So if you enjoyed it as well... Make sure you hit the like button. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And I'm out. Hope you guys stick around to watch something else on the channel.
hopefully. I appreciate y'all. I'm out, man. Peace.